Item number 2023-0211, the parish president, remarks and report. Um, okay. Um, <coughs> First, we have the West Bank Bridge Park groundbreaking. This is a project long in the making. Uh, we will be uh, installing two turf fields, uh, turf infields on t uh, one and two, all new fencing. Um, we will be redoing our grass outfields as along with the irrigation system. Uh, we will do new LED scoreboards, backstops, dugouts, um, shaded patron areas, as well as what do we have here, as well as advanced LED lighting on metal poles. Obviously, you know, poles after Hurricane Ida, wooden poles were, a, um, were heavily damaged. So we're, we're glad to see um, that resiliency going into the West Bank Bridge Park. Over to the West Bank Splash Park, um, we also broke ground on the same day on a 4,635-square-foot swamp-themed spray park, 25 water features, six sa shade sails, 12 benches, and 85 parking spaces um, and that is going to be hopefully open summer of 2024. Additionally, there's going to be a bathroom area uh, as well as a part of that park. So two large investments into uh, recreation underway. I um, want to show you Battle of um, That was the Battle of building after Hurricane Ida, obviously very damaged. And then um, we recently completed uh, the building, and we will have some extra storage area now for um, recreation, which is desperate, desperately needed. If you've opened one of the uh, closets at the Edward A. Dufresne Community Center, it is packed from floor to the ceiling with, um, with items. So this is going to be a big uh, improvement for us to be able to store our equipment in a climate-controlled environment. Over to the Bootsy Park restoration, um, we did put some information out that, that, was, uh, that the, um, uh, the bathroom is closed for upgrades. They'll be repainting. Um, the bathroom, as well as doing redoing the signage, the fixtures, and redoing the floors to an epoxy floor. Paul Mallard Road, just, this is just a reminder um, that the traffic plan went into effect today. Um, so, again, beginning today, Paul Mallard Road between Blueberry and Angus Drive is northbound only. Um, we worked extensively with all of the um, stakeholders from ambulance to hospitals to fire department, sheriff's office, schools, you name it, trash collection, um, to, uh, to provide the best, um, the, I guess, the optimal um, traffic plan for, for folks. We want to make sure we want to maintain access to the hospital, and that's why you'll be able to get to the hospital from both directions. This is phase one of three phases. Uh, it's an 80-20 split. It's an RPC project, and again, they'll be covering the ditches, adding to both sides, um, and um, really just making a, a, a nice enhancement. That's a little over $10 million um, to, uh, to that phase of Paul Mallard. Again, 80-20 split. Um, St. Charles Parish is under a burn ban. Uh, in fact, now the entire state is under a burn ban. Um, and we want to remind residents to not burn not do any open air burning. Um, they are allowed to use barbecue pits and other other normal uh, burning instances, but we have severe drought conditions currently, and we want to make sure that we don't unnecessarily cause fires <laughs> that cause our fire department to have to respond. Over on Highway 90, um, after after meeting with our business owners, and as you know, we are looking to do a um, an overlay district to improve the Highway 90 corridor. One of the main things that came out of our discussion over and over again was that they wanted this corridor along the railroad tracks to be cleaned up. There are a lot of fallen trees, a lot of uh, debris and um, litter left from Hurricane Ida. And so uh, we worked with DOTD and uh, BNSF to... Um, I'm sorry, we're with BNSF to start a, a project clearing it. This is going to be a four-phase project, so we're just working on the first phase at this point, essentially from, um, from McDonald's or basically Sonic all the way th through Walmart, um, and that will be the first phase of us um, clearing and dressing that up. Um, we've worked with DOTD um, to, to help make sure that it's maintained after we, we've completed it. Um, and then lastly, just sales tax. Um, you can see that sales tax for the year is up 5.45%, and sales tax for the month of June was up 
2.93. Again, overall, 5.45%. Uh, that's the end of my report.